Hello everyone, this is Hedy. Uh, in this video, we will learn the, some selected questions from the module three prerequisite assignment. Uh, in this part, I will highlight uh, the definition of event here. Each of the possible outcomes we could, we could get from the experiment represents an event. So please uh, read all the materials uh, from this prerequisite assignment, not including just uh, what I, uh, I, we talked about in this video. Okay, uh, let's see, to determine the probability of a particular event, uh, in this part, the first one, we must be able to describe experiment and the event in full detail. Uh, and experiment can consist of multiple operations. What's the meaning of operations? That means the steps. So for example, in the experiment, uh, uh, they will uh, let, you to, uh, let you to do this. First, you choose a ball from a 30 red ball pool and then choose a ball from a 50 a blue ball pool. So um, you have a 30 balls bag, you choose one first step. That means first operation, choose a ball from 30 uh, ball pool. And the second step, you choose a ball from 50 blue ball bag. Uh, so that means you have two operations. First, choose a ball from 30 ball pool. Second, choose a ball from 50 ball pool. So right now you understand the, what's the operations. The second one, we also need to be able to count things associated with the experiment. Uh, it's, opera uh, it's operations and the events in questions. So right now, let's, uh, what's the next step after finding the operations? I'd like to find the, the outcomes of the operations. For example, uh, this example, I choose a ball from 30 uh, ball bags. So, that means I have 30 possible outcomes, 30 possible outcomes. How about the second operation? Choose a ball from 50 uh, balls, blue balls. I also, uh, I have 50 outcomes. So this step, you can find uh, how many outcomes for each operations. The next one, Finally, some experiments require us to choose items from a group and uh, determine the number of the ways in which we could do. Uh, for example, this is just like we learned about the permutation and the combinations in the chapter uh, 11. Okay, for example, if I want to choose uh, three people from uh, uh, 50 people's uh, company, and three of them need to be differentiated by the position as manager, uh, treasurer, and staff. So three of them need to be the position of manager, treasurer, treasurer, and the staff. So uh, we learned that if we choose from 50 uh, and we choose three from 50, we should use permutation or combination C or A. Which one I should choose from 50 from 50? Just to see, after choosing three from 50, do I need to order them differently? Yes, because I need to order these three people here. So if I put A here, B here, C here, they have different position. 
if I put B here, I put C here, I put A here, this, uh, this order is different from the previous order. If the order matters, we need to choose this permutation. I put three here. If I uh, still choose three members from 50, that means I don't differentiate uh, their position. I just want to choose uh, three people from 50, uh, from 50 company, uh, 50 people company. I don't need to uh, order them differently because maybe I just let three people to go to a meeting uh, without uh, giving them some position. That means without the order doesn't matter. That means I use the combination 50 people. I choose three from 50 without uh, uh, ordering them. That means the combination. Okay, let's move on to, so let's make it easier to see. Okay, let's move on to next page. So read all, all the topics one on topic two by yourself. Uh, in the topic two part, let me see. Let's talk about the scenarios on the page three. The first scenario, read the uh, pause the video and uh, read the question. Suppose acting company has 15 players. Seven have auditioned for the role of Hamlet. Three have auditioned for the role of Claudius. And the five have auditioned for the role of Ophelia. Mm, right now, what are, uh, they are, uh, they want us to, um, to find the operations and show us how many outcomes for each operation. So they want to choose a row of Hamlet, Hamlet from seven people. So, and the second option is choose a, a actor for Cla Claudius from three actors. And the last operation is choose an uh, actor for Ophelia from five of the, uh, the actors who auditioned. Uh, so the least uh, the first operation is cast the role of Hamlet and it has seven possible outcomes. Second, the first step choose a uh, 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 actor for Hamlet. And the second step is choose a role for Claudius. And it has three possible outcomes because there are three people have auditioned for this role. And the last step, that's the last operation, uh, cast the role of Ophelia. And we have five possible outcomes. Okay, let's move on to next scenario. Scenario two, suppose the acting company has 15 players, 10 actors who have auditioned and want to uh, want a male part, and five actresses who had auditioned and want to want a female part. So the male part, that means can be Ham Hamlet. Or can be Claudius. Uh, for the female actress or female part, female role, that's the only one to choice, the Ophelia. So the first step, we should uh, cast the role of Hamlet. How many possible outcomes? Right now, from the male part, we have a uh, 10 people pool. We want to choose a male from 10. So just choose one from the 10 male pool. After choosing one, the second step, I will choose a people to cast the role of uh, Claudius. So we already choose one from 10. How many male left? 
in the pool. Right now we have nine. So we have possible uh, outcomes, it's nine. Next step is a cast a row of Ophelia. We have five possible outcomes because the given information here, five actress who have auditioned and want a female part. Okay, let's move on to see scenario three. Suppose the acting company has 15 players who have auditioned for roles and are willing to take whatever they can get. Oh, that means we have only total, totally one pool, which have 15 players in this pool. And they don't care whether they want to be a female or male part in the, uh, in the show. That means when I first, uh, the st first step I'm choosing uh, people from this 15 pool, uh, want him or her to be the Hamlet. We have 15 possible outcomes. Second step, I want to find a people who cast the role of Claudius. That means after, after the first step, we have 15, 14 people left in the pool. So I have 15 possible outcomes. The next step, we want to find the people to cast the role of Ophelia. Uh, we already chose two people in previous two steps. Right now I have 15, uh, 13, sorry, 13 possible outcomes. Uh, so they list the, the uh, outcomes for each operations. Next one, let's talk about the examples here. Just to follow the example in the scenarios uh, and then you will know how to solve all the uh, questions below. The first uh, one is a school's English department requires students to complete a summer reading assignment. Each student must choose a work of fiction. So first, this student must choose a work of fiction from 10 books. Uh, chosen by the department. A second, uh, well, second step, the student need to choose a work of nonfiction from six books, uh, six books chosen and this collection. And next step, the student need to choose one from a collection of uh, poetry, a uh, poetry from seven collections chosen. That means the first is, oh, so let's see, how many operations are there? So how many steps do you need to do in this experiment? The first step, you need to choose a book from fiction. And second, choose a book from nonfiction. And uh, the last uh, operation is uh, choose a, a book or a collections from a collection of poetry. These are uh, three operations. I put three here. And uh, list of the individual operations. You may not need all blanks because we have three. So we just need three. We don't need too many uh, unuseful uh, blanks here. So first you just list your first operation number of weight to perform operation. That means how many outcomes, possible outcomes in the first operation. So how many, uh, uh, how many options I can choose from the first uh, uh, operation pool. So the first one I can choose from 10 books. That means the operation is 10. The second one choose from six books. That means I have six operations. So you need to fill the blanks by yourself for next one. Okay, so I have one uh, question for you. That uh, does, the, does the order of the book you have chosen matter? I mean, 
uh, for example, for example, you choose a book from the first fiction, uh, the fiction books, you choose ET. The second book you choose uh, from nonfiction is math, you choose a math book. And uh, the last one you chose uh, maybe uh, choose a poetry is Odyssey. So you choose three books. Uh, and does your teacher or does the people from English department care about uh, the order of the books you have chosen? No, just the three book. You don't need to order them. You don't say, uh, so your teacher asks you, uh, what book have you uh, been uh, have you cho uh, chosen? You say ET, math, Odyssey. So the order of you say math first, Odyssey first, uh, Odyssey second, and ET. The, lastly, do they mean the same things? Yes, it, they just means these three books. You didn't need to uh, order them. So that means this one order doesn't matter. Let's see next uh, example. A groom is, cho is choosing his wedding tuxedo. He has options to choose a black or white suit. The first is that he choose a black or white suit. So he need to choose a suit from black or white. And then black or white or cream or vest. Second step, he, he need to choose a vest from black, white, or cream. Next, he choose a shirt and from black, white, and or cream. So how many operations? Now that means how many steps does this groom to choose? First, he choose suit. Second, he choose vest. Third, he choose shirt. So there are three operations, three steps. In the first steps, how many, uh, how many uh, possible outcomes, number of ways to perform operation, black or white. So you will uh, fill all the three blanks or six blanks by yourself. So you don't need to fill this part. Uh, uh, I have a question now. Uh, does the matter, uh, does the order matter? I mean, after you choosing the suit uh, and uh, vest and shirt, so does the order matter? So the peop people ask you, what do you wear? Um, what do you wear? You tell them, a uh, white suit and uh, a black vest and a cream shirt. So you wear these three. Does the people care about which one you say the first? You say, if I say different order, I say cream shirt and uh, uh, black vest and uh, white suit. So do they have the same meaning? Yes. So the order doesn't matter. Okay, let's move on to next uh, example. Number, oh, number C. Let me talk about something in number C. Four digit checking account in pin number. Uh, being chosen from the digits one, uh, zero to nine. Each digit can be used more than once. How many operations? So four digit checking account pin number. That means I have four digit. The first step, I need to choose a number for the, uh, for the first digit, and then choose a number for second digit, choose a number for third digit, choose a number for fourth digit. So how many steps I need to have? So think it by yourself. In the first step, 
I can choose, I should choose the digit from zero to nine. So how many possible outcomes? I can choose from zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are totally 10 numbers. So number of ways to perform operations is 10 for the first operation. And how about the second operation? It says each digit can be used more than once. That means it doesn't matter if I have repetitions. So for the second one, I still have zero. I can choose from a number from zero to nine. And the third I have, uh, I can choose from zero to nine, zero to nine. And that means uh, for each operations, I have 10 uh, possible outcomes. Okay, let's see next one. Number D, a club is choosing its president, vice president, uh, secretary, and uh, treasurer to serve a year term, each of 30 club members. So we have 30 club members is willing to, willing and able to serve and nobody can hold more than one office. How many op uh, operations are there? So the, the first step, I need to choose a person to be a president. Second step, I need to choose a person to be a vice president. Third step and the fourth steps. Uh, for the first people I have chosen from the pool, the pool is 30 people's pool. So from 30 people, I choose one. So I have 30 possible outcomes. When I start to choose for the second vice president, how many people left in the pool? It's 29 because one person is already uh, has been ch chosen uh, to be the president in the first uh, operation. So from the second operation, I have only 29 people left. And then secretary and treasurers, you do it by yourself. Okay, let's move on to next one is, okay, let me ask you, uh, does the order matter? So this one, we mentioned about the, it's in the first page uh, in this part. So here you have a 30 people pool. You need to choose four people from the pool and you need to order these four people because they are different position. And uh, that means I need to use permutation from 30, I choose four, and four of them need to be ordered. So the order of this question is matter. Okay, next one. Okay, how about the order in previous question, number C, does the order matter? When we got the answer that uh, the four digit uh, pin number, I have uh, two, four, for six, I have this for number. If I switch the position, do they have the same meaning that uh, I have a different uh, pin number or password? Two, four, six, four. So if I have uh, this and this, they represent different password because you can't use this one to unlock the uh, the computer or something, some device, because they're different. So for this question, the, uh, the order matters. Okay, let's move on to number E. A combination lock has five wheels. Okay, I will draw five wheels. Pretend they are wheels. And each label with the digit zero to nine. And then read the question. In choosing a code, no digit may be repeated. Oh, that means when 
the first step, first operation, I choose a number from zero to nine. And then the second number, I can't choose the same number in previous wheels. Uh, that means I have only uh, nine options or nine outcomes I can choose. And then next operation for the third digit, for a third wheels, I can't use the previous two uh, numbers. So how many uh, possible numbers I can choose? I can only choose eight from the pool, from, so from the big pool. And next step, I can't choose previous three numbers how many number I can choose from the pool. That means I have seven possible um, numbers. Oh, please read the question carefully. It says five wheels. So we have one, two, three, four. We need one more wheels. So uh, this is the last operation. And also you should know how many, um, how many outcomes I should put here. So does the matter, uh, the, does the order matter? Mm, think about that. Uh, the combination lock. So does this one, one, two, three, four, five, and five, two, three, one, four. Does these two represent a different uh, uh, password or pin? So if they represent the same meaning, uh, the same password, that means uh, this, the, the order doesn't matter. If they represent different uh, password, that means uh, the, mat, uh, the order matters. Okay, let's move on to next one. A four-person panel is being chosen from a university history department to represent the department on international conference. The department has 22 professors, so the pool is 22. And uh, I need to select a four-person panel. So uh, that's about select people from a pool. That's related to the permutation or combination. So does these four person in the panel uh, or four people in the panel has different position or they just want four members uh, without giving them any uh, title position? So think about that. Okay, right now, how many operations are there? So first step, you need to choose first number. That means uh, choose from 22, that's the first step. And second step, you need to choose the second number. Uh, how many people left? So 21 people left, I have 21 possible outcomes. And the next step, next operation the, for the first, choose the third member. So how many uh, number of ways to perform the operation? Okay, and last step for the fourth member, I have, uh, so how many uh, members left in the pool I can choose? Okay, after choosing the people, so they are all members. I don't need to rank them or order them. That means the order doesn't matter. I just want to choose four members. For example, the first member is Anna. Second member is Bob. And the third is Cindy. And the last one is Dara. So this is, member, 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 member. So they don't care about their uh, position's name because they are all members in the panel. So the, even I put the Dara here, 
the Dara is still member. So change nothing. That means the order doesn't matter. Uh, next one. G from a list of 100 popular movies. You can ask to rank your top five. So top five. So first step, first operation, you need to choose uh, your favorite movie. And second operation, choose uh, second favorite. Then choose uh, third favorite, fourth favorite, and fifth favorite. So after choosing this favorite, do you need to rank them? Or does the, mat does the order matter? Um, that means you choose your favorite movie from 100, uh, uh, your favorite five movies from 100. After choosing them, you put them in the, uh, in the list. First one, I choose ET. Second one, I choose Mass. The, maybe there is a movie called Mass. Okay, maybe another one, Odyssey or something. So does it matter, uh, does the order matters? Because this is your favorite. If you put here, put it here, that's your second favorite. So it's different from that you list it in the front because right now you already in your mind, this is your favorite. If I put it on the fourth one or fifth one, you won't agree with that. So the order matter. Okay, for each operations, you need to know uh, how many outcomes for this operation. Okay, do that by yourself. Next one, a six character case sensitive password is being chosen. Each character must be a letter capital or lowercase. So a letter contains 26 letters and 26 letters has 26 uppercase and 26 lowercase. So that means um, uh, if I choose a letter, it can be a, a uppercase from 26 uppercase or it can be a lowercase letter from 26 lowercase number. So that means for the letter part, I have 26 plus 26 options or options I can choose here, or, or means plus, lowercase. Okay, okay, ignore that. Okay, here is or, or digit. So digit including zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that means one letter and or one digit. So you can't have 10 because this is two digit. That means um, I can just choose the digit from zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I can't choose uh, 10 for, uh, for that. Okay, six characters and each character I choose that from 26, 26, and uh, this 10 digit. So I can have this options for six characters. Let's read more details. Successive uh, uh, characters must be different. Oh, what's the meaning of that? They give us the example, AB is fine, but AA or BB is not. So. Uh, if I have one and uh, I must have not one after that fall, uh, following this number. And then here I can still have one because this number is different from the previous one. So the successive characters, so the number they are uh, next, to each, next to each other mustn't be different. Oh, sorry, must be different. That means I can have uh, one, two, A, C, A, and D, one, two, three, 
four, five, six. Yes, I can have this, but I can't have this. Two, two, A, A, B, C. I can't have this. So the number uh, or the digit next to each other should be different. Okay, let's see how many operations are there. So I need to choose uh, characters for six char uh, for six characters. For the first step, how many uh, options can you choose from? So you need to cho choose from this pool, right? Uh, 26 plus 26 plus 10 is uh, 52 plus 10 is 62. Uh, you have 62 options. Oh, sorry, sorry. That's the wrong place. It's here. It's 62. Uh, how about the next one? Number of way to uh, next operation for this one. So this one cannot be the same uh, character from the previous um, character. So uh, from 62, the pool is 62. I have a 62 pool and I can't choose the previous one. So right now I have only 61 options or uh, outcomes, possible outcome to choose. And next one, this one, how many outcomes? I can't choose the digit or letters from previous one, but I can choose this. I can choose other uh, characters or other letter or digit from the pool, but only this one cannot be chosen. That means, uh, that means I have 61 outcomes to choose. How about the next uh, operations? How about the last uh, operations? So uh, think about that by yourself. And uh, does the order matter? So this is the password. And so think about the order, uh, if the order is matters or uh, it doesn't matter. Okay, next one. A charity raffle is awarding one grand prize. So read the question by yourself. Uh, right now, the question is, tell, is telling us that uh, how many, oh, here, 1,000 raffle ticket. So in the pool, we have 1,000 ticket. And then we need to choose how many price. The one first prize for 1,000 gift card. So this is one. I need to choose two second prize for uh, 250 hundred gift card. And then three third prize. So what's the operations for this? First, first operation, I need to choose one from the pool for the uh, the grand prize. So here the first one is for the grand prize. You just write down by yourself. How many op uh, how many operations? Uh, number of way to perform operations. You have one thousand uh, outcomes. How about the next operation? What should I do next? I need to draw a ticket to give them the second prize. You say second prize number one because I have two second prize. So second prize number one. And uh, how many uh, how many options uh, I can choose from? Since we already get one ticket in the first part. So, we have 999 tickets left in the pool. And then this is the second prize number two. 
because uh, the third the third operation or third step, I need I'm still choosing a price or choosing a people to win the price second price two hundred fifty dollars gift card, and then the number number of ways to perform the operation. So this is. 998 uh, operations. So what's the next? Next step. So choose the third uh, third price. So how about this? How about this? And then you should fill out the blanks by yourself. Okay, let me ask you a question. Does the matter, uh, does the order matter? So you just like totally how many, uh, how many tickets you need to draw from 1,000. I need to draw, this is one, this is two, this is three, totally six. I need to draw six tickets from 1,000. So does some order matter? Does, do I need to uh, order these two, uh, sorry, these six tickets? Into different in different order, so maybe Anna got the first prize. He got one thousand dollar, and uh, Blair got uh, uh, two hundred fifty, and uh, Cindy got two hundred fifty, and uh, uh, Dara got uh, one hundred, Emily got one hundred. And uh, Fred got uh, 100. So does the matter order? Oh, sorry. Does the order matter? Mm, think about that. If let Anna get $100 and Fred got 1000, Fred will be very happy. And uh, uh, Anna got 100, she will be sad. So the results uh, are different. So do you think the matter order, uh, sorry, do you think the order matter? Okay, let's move on to next question. Uh, a voter completing a ballot for a local election. So pause the video, uh, video and uh, uh, read the question. Okay, uh, let's see. Four candidates are running for mayor. So you must select a mayor. This is your first operation. Select a mayor from four candidates. So select a sheriff from three candidates. Select and then select a, a council seat. from six candidates and only one candidate is running for tax uh, assessor. So select a tax assessor from only one candidate. Actually, the voter may also choose uh, abstain. Oh, that means when you do the uh, selection, so when you select the people, for example, to select the mayor from four candidates, you still have another option. For example, your four candidate is Anna, uh, Blair, uh, Cindy, and, and Dara. And then you have another option that you said, um, you said I vote for nobody. Or you said you said that abstain. So actually, even they told us four candidates, but we have five options. Okay, let's continue to read. Uh, but writing vo votes are not a lot. Okay, two refer referendum issues are also on the ballot and the voter may choose yes or no for each of them. 
So we already understand there are four options for uh, choosing mayor, sheriff, uh, council seat, uh, tax accessor. So we already know there are four options. And here they also said two re uh, referendum issue. So the first uh, referendum issue is also an uh, operation. The second one, first one, and second the referendum issue is still an uh, operation. When you choosing uh, the referendum issue selection, they said a voter may choose yes or no. So there are yes, no option. And also they said you have another option is abstain. So how many outcomes, possible outcomes can, can selecting a referendum issue can be? Yes, no, abstain. So there are three for this one. So think about how many operations are there in the question and how many uh, ways to perform each operation. Okay, let me ask you, does the order matter? So do you think uh, this question is very similar to the question number B? Yeah, this question. Um, you choose, you choose uh, what you wear. Uh, for example, you choose a suit from black and white. You choose a vest from black one, the cream. You choose a shirt from black, white, cream. So after you choosing that, do you really care about the order? And uh, for the question J, after you choosing, answering all of these questions, do you really uh, think the order matter? I mean, uh, the order of you answering, you answer the question. For example, uh, if I answer, uh, the first question is selecting a mayor from for a candidate and uh, abstain. And I put this question at the end uh, of the survey of the voting sheets. Do you think they represent the same? Like I put it on the top of the question. So they should be the same because uh, just, uh, the, just uh, the order of the question you answered uh, is different. You answer first one first and second one second or last one third. So it's the same. Uh, it's very. It's the same. Like you just uh, answer them by one two three four five six. Because the result didn't change. Okay, this video. I think I talked enough about this video. Uh, remember that so on your last page you must. Uh, What's this? Okay, you must answer here. So don't forget you have this part. You must answer this. So don't skip this. Okay, this video is all about the prerequisite assignment uh, module three. If you have any question, please let me know. Okay.